Hey guys, Tom from Lush Shiller here. Today I'm talking about e-rewards. It's a market research panel where you can earn e-rewards currency in exchange for answering survey questions. It's one of the first survey panels ever joined. I occasionally use them today and they were founded in 1999. They're operated by a very reputable market research firm. They have over 2 million members worldwide as well as opinions from four continents, over 100,000 redemptions per month. If you're part of another uh, company's loyalty program of sorts, you may have received an email invite asking you to join. If you could see them, they're popping up right here. Here. Any of these reward programs such as IHG, Wyndham Rewards, or say Starbucks, Macy's, Hilton Honors, they might send you an email saying, hey, you want to join the e-rewards program and in exchange you can answer survey questions and then get points or rewards. So if you've got an email invite or you've heard about them, I'm going to show you how they join. Usually this is by invite only because if you do go to the join button. You'll usually see this, they'll say thank you for your interest here. They're not accepting new members at the time. So you're going to have to wait for that email invite. And thankfully, I had an invite many years ago, and I'll show you what the dashboard looks like. And I'll just tell you if it's worth your time. Okay, so when you're able to log into your dashboard, this could be at any time. They'll send you invites to your email, or you can just log in. This will be your dashboard. It'll be surveys. I don't have any surveys available. Not many pop up, and the profile needs to be filled out. I haven't logged in for a while. I used to use it a long time ago, like I said, but I haven't filled out the newer profiles, and you can see I've only uh, did it's 5% complete. And you're going to want to fill these profiles out. You don't get rewarded in doing so, but it's going to increase your chances of getting the surveys here. So if you just look at a GameStop survey in the past 30 days. How much have you spent on video games? There's politics, magazines, and so forth. So if you can fill these all out, the more you can, the more surveys you're going to get. And these surveys will then reward you. And e-rewards currency, and that's a little different than a dollar. So if you see a dollar in e-rewards currency, it's not specifically a dollar. But I'll show you what your rewards are here. So if you go to rewards, when you look at your e-rewards uh, currency, this, these are your rewards here. So for example, if you were part of American Airlines and you got the invite and you love American Airlines uh, uh, Advantage miles here, if you wanted 500 miles, it would cost you $25 in e-rewards currency. You could check out and that would transfer to your account. You just put that information in here. And you could see that they have a variety of options. If a CVS Pharmacy gift card is what you want, then a $25 gift card would cost you $75 in e-reward currency. So my point is that if you see a $5 e-rewards survey, it's not necessarily worth $5. It's only going to be worth, say, a dollar or two in actual value here. And you could see that there's a variety of rewards that are not insanely good but they're not bad either i've done them in the past because they were kind of easy and i did like getting some such as the kroger if you grocery shop you can get a kroger card they also have say ihg most of your airlines they have theaters red lobster uber and they as well as they have magazines too if you're interested in any of these magazines and taking the survey is pretty straightforward Whenever you go to your surveys tab, whenever one loads up, you're going to just take it and you're going to make your e-reward uh, money that way. So you're probably wondering how much you can get paid per survey. Here's a uh, screenshot I'll show you my activities here. This was a 75 cent survey paid out, took five minutes, as well as this one, 225, 10 minutes. Again, that's e-reward currency. Most of your surveys are gonna be in that 50 cents to $5 range. Click on a uh, survey of interest and some surveys, like I said, it can take five minutes, it could take 10 minutes, and it'll show up on your dashboard there. You um, And make sure it's worth your time. You wouldn't wanna complete a 30 minute survey for a dollar. So, and in rule of thumb, I want to make sure that uh, I'm earning about a dollar per five minutes and how many surveys can you take questions always asked whenever I do a review generally it depends on your demographics so and your profile so again fill that out and keeping your profile 100% like it says give you the best chance but your demographics gonna greatly uh, vary but I could see that usually I would get a couple a week maybe a little more based on my demographics again you're going to be much different than me. You could get way more, you could get way less. And those surveys that will pop up will take anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes. And again, usually pay up to the $5 in the e-rewards currency. Just keep in mind that e-rewards currency is worth uh, a lot less than the set dollar instead of a dollar being worth a dollar. And how much you can earn? I think you could maybe earn about 5 to $20 in e-rewards currency a week. Uh, and then in terms of the rewards, so if you did earn about $20 a week, how much is that worth in e-rewards currency? Well, if we go down to something uh, that's valuable to everyone, say like a Kroger gift card to go grocery shopping, that's going to be 
$30. So I think it's possible to earn a $10, say, gift card or something in $10 in value every two weeks or so. I can log in once in a while and take a couple here and there. And if I just casually do it, I think it's pretty easy to do $10 uh, every two weeks. And again, with these surveys, you're not going to uh, get rich. And in terms of those rewards, we'll go back to those really quick. How long does it take to cash out? Usually the physical rewards, such as these e-gift cards and that, usually takes about 24 hours. If you do, say, you go down, you want the magazine, the magazines can take up to a couple weeks if it's a print uh, magazine that you want. And as for transferring, say, your Southwest points, or it's a point system here, it could say it could take up to six weeks for these points to show up. So those could be, if you need a flight today, it's not gonna show up that fast. Okay, let's go over the good and bad really quick. It's free to join. Loyalty rewards can be earned if you don't want to buy them. There's lots of survey opportunities, at least that I found. Higher payer survey options, uh, up to $5 in that reward currency. It only takes a couple minutes sometimes. Uh, incentives, even if you don't qualify, which is nice, they will reward you if you don't uh, qualify for the survey. It's not a lot. The bad, lots of people are reporting getting suspended, higher than average from what I found. You do need an invite to jo join most of the time. So pay attention to that uh, survey invite if you do see it from eRewards. It uses a wacky currency system. And there's no PayPal or Amazon, which are some of the more popular options there. So and then eRewards is a mixed bag to me. It's 100% legit. It's not a scam. They do have okay rewards. And if you want to get free, say, Southwest points or IHG points or that, it's uh, something to consider. It's backed by a very reputable research firm. It's one of the largest in the field. They've been around since 1999. And I've been paid countless times. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, the surveys do pop up here and there. Felt that profile takes a long time. You don't get rewarded, but it can increase your odds. Just keep logging in or look for those email invites and you get a great uh, option of choosing, you know, a Kroger gift card, CVS. There's something you could find that you're going to like. Just know the currency is a little different. And just make sure if you do convert your points, say from like IHG or Southwest, make sure the value is actually worth it. So and then any rewards can go either way. I'm not going to recommend it. Uh, that's a bad or it's fantastic but in the middle i'll let you uh join if you can get an invite or if you're already part of it and check it out um as always i'll put the link in the description as well as a link to the in-depth uh review that i've written in the past so that's gonna do it for now as always go to lushdollar.com i have hundreds of ways to make money be smart with your money that's why i created the site and the channel i keep adding as much as i can as always like comment subscribe it always helps me out thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time